Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we are gonna be doing an updated bookshelf tour. I am so excited to show you guys my shelves. I have been collecting a lot of books since the last time that I did a video, which I think was either 2020 or 2021 was the last time I did a full like tour. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm gonna try not to take too long going over my books, but these are all um, books that I try to buy most of them secondhand but some of them have been gifted to me. Most, a lot of them have been gifted to me. And then most of them I have just bought over time. Um, but secondhand, I either shop at like Second and Charles, which is a chain locally for me, um, or I buy them off Pango Books and um, just like thrift stores. I like to thrift for books. Totally recommend if you're looking for cheap books. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tour. All right, everybody, here is a broad overview of my shelves. I kind of just wanted to show you from this angle um, cause I think this is cool. This is kind of like, you go down the stairs on the left, there's Lilo and our like gaming area. Um, and then on the right you have my book area. And so here are the shelves. There's just like a little closet we use for various storage things. And this is kind of like my reading corner. Um, I want to start reading over here more. I don't really read over here as much as I would like, but it's not done. We're kind of trying to decide what color we want and let me know if y'all have any suggestions. But this is like a wood paneling we added because I want it to look kind of like older. I have a little light in this corner that kind of shines down, which is cool. Um, so we, my husband is very sweet and stained this wood for me. Um, so we're trying to decide white, gray, or black in the middle or like some kind of wallpaper. So let me know what you think. But this, I'll go into these drawers and like what's in here later in this little corner. I just kind of wanted to show you. Okay, so I organize my books in various different ways. Um, honestly, what I have found to prefer, because I've tried several different things, um, is by genre, because I'm such a mood reader that like, to me, like when I'm reading, I'm trying to, you know, get a certain vibe. I'm trying to see like, you know, what I'm in, what I'm at feeling right now. Um, so that's kind of how I have it divided. Um, it's what works for me best right now. And I like to have trinkets on my bookshelf too, which we'll go over. But yeah, I'm just kind of doing a couple overviews right now. Um, and we'll go into detail kind of based on the shelf. I'm not gonna be able to go through every single book, but I will let you know if I've read it or not. Um, on the top, I have all of my Disney Funko Pops. Um, I love Funko Pops, but the ones that I really like to collect are Disney. This is also, uh, this lights up unless it's dead, um, like a rose that Hunter got me for Christmas. Very sweet. I love Beauty and the Beast, if you could not tell. Um, but yeah, this is just an overview of those. I like having those on the top and out of the box just so you can see them. I have some that you'll see throughout here that are still on here in the box. And it really, honestly, I don't have like a reason why I do some over the other. It's just like what I want it to look like, honestly. Okay, so starting with this shelf, um, this section is like my book of the month books right here. So, and some other ones that like just kind of look nice aesthetically all together. Um, I do subscribe to book of the month. I have skipped the past couple months, honestly, not because the books didn't seem good, but because I have so many books I need to read and I need to chill out. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of start here. The Silent Patient, this is kind of like all also like thrillers sort of. Um, but I'll give like my general thoughts on the book if I've read it too. Love The Silent Patient. It is really, really good. A really great thriller, psychological thriller. Um, and then we have, I also try to keep authors together if I have multiple from one author. So these are both by Megan Golden and I love both of these. Um, we have The Escape Room and then we have The Night Swim. I said I wasn't going to through every book, but honestly, I might. We'll see. I don't know. The Sanitarium, I have not read yet, um, but I've heard that it's not the best from my friend Katie, so I don't know. We'll see. I might read it still. Um, it's not book of the month. Neither are these two. Um, I just have them here because this one bothers me because it's not quite the same size, but it's close. 56 Days is really good. Um, I read that at the, um, when I actually had COVID, funny enough, and this is a book about the beginning of COVID and like a murder mystery of people getting stuck together. Good Marriage, Girl A, Too Good To Be True, Book of Cold Cases. These four I have not read yet. Let me know if any of these are good. Plan on getting them to, getting to them as soon as I can. Flicker in the Dark, I loved this. I need to put these two together, honestly, because it's the same author, Flicker in the Dark and All the Dangerous Things. 
Um, I both read both of these recently and they're both five stars for me. Actually, I think I gave All the Dangerous Things five stars and then this one four stars, but they were both really good and I would recommend both of them. Um, House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I love Riley Sager, but this one dropped the ball a little bit for me, honestly, not gonna lie. Um, there are some of his that are a lot better that I have on my shelf. I'll show you in a minute. This, what comes after, I think this is a mystery. I have not read this one yet either. The cover intrigued me. Reckless Girls, I've read and it's really good. Um, gave it four stars, I think. And then The Writing Retreat, I've not gotten to yet, but I've seen a lot of hype around it. So I'd like to get to it soon. This shelf is mostly trinkets, but um, there are some really good books on here. This is kind of like my Ruth Ware section that I have. This is the only one I've not read by her. I'm currently actually listening to The It Girl by her. Um, and it's really good actually, but this one I have not read. This one I read in a dark, dark wood and I loved it. Um, that one's very atmospheric for like winter. Turn of the Key, I really enjoyed. Um, you'll see honestly a theme, like I don't really keep books I don't like. So most of what I've read on my shelf, I really like, um, unless I need it for like reference or something, I'll keep it. But I try not to keep books I really don't like um, if I've read them. The Miss Westway, not my favorite of hers, but I really did like it. Behind Her Eyes was really twisty and weird. Um, crazy, honestly, but I really liked it. This one, um, Defending Jacob, I was really excited about this one because I loved the Apple TV show. You can see, like, I don't normally like show movie covers, but I got this one. Um, the show's better than the book, I'll be honest. But I still had a good time. It's like a legal thriller. This is a Jack Skellington cup. I love Jack Skellington with some of my bookmarks in there. Just, you know, just a little display thing. Some more Funko Pops. And then my Gillian Flynn books. Um, I have read Gone Girl and Sharp Objects. I have not read Dark Places, but I'm not in a super hurry to read it because I've heard it's not the best of hers. This one down here is mainly trinkets. This is an old lighthouse that I have that was my grandparents. So it means a lot to me. A stitch plush that Hunter got me when we first started dating. This somebody got us for our wedding, which is really cute. And then this is behind here is actually a Disney picture book. Um, it's like a storybook with a bunch of kids stories that I just thought would be fun to have. I love Disney if you can't tell. And then this is just a Bell um, portrait by Danny Haas. I really like his work. And then this is just a gym. <laughs> All right, continuing down. This is my um, horror shelf. Um, some of it is YA horror and some of it is adult horror. Um, so we have the um, Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I think this is the first one. I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you. Oh no, it's not. I have the first one though. This is one of my favorite books of all time. I have talked about it before, The Supernatural Enhancements. It has a um, mixed media in it. I really love this one. Um, this also, this is kind of a mixed media area to the dead house also has mixed media in it this one wasn't quite as good to me um and if you're wondering what i'm saying like mixed media means like it has like journal entries and like stuff to look at besides just the book and like interactive things um we have daniel vega um is a why a horror artist that i ooh, ooh, that i really like let me fix this anyways daniel vega is a horror uh, YA author that I really like. I actually just finished this book, Diary of a Haunting. It was pretty good. Um, this is a trilogy, The Merciless, or a, sorry, four books that I really like. It's a series that is pretty good. Um, and then I've read, so I've read all of those except for the Hannibal book, but I have not read these two. I just got these two recently from the thrift store for super cheap, so I'm excited about that. Then I have just a little stack over here because I needed to take up some room. Uh, Jack Funko Pop, and then two of the Silence of the Lamb books, The Haunting of Hill House, which was a little bit disappointing because I love the show. Just as a heads up, it's nothing like the book. The book is a lot older, and it's good. It's just not, it's not the same, and yeah, anyways. Nothing But Black and Teeth is a little short horror novella. I have not read this yet. Oh, and I've read this, Red Dragon, but I haven't read Silence of the Lambs. And then we have House of Leaves, which is a big, thick, a uh, mixed media book that is hefty and I'm trying to get uh, to it soon but it's just a lot of like involved reading like you have to like it's basically like a puzzle which is cool but it's a lot. Moving down we have the historical fiction-ish contemporary literary fiction-ish. This is I don't have a ton of these so they're kind of in this section so I have Daughters of the Reach which I loved this book. Um, 
it was fantastic and I would highly recommend it. I'm not a big, like I said, I'm not a big uh, historical fiction reader, but I absolutely loved that one. Uh, as well as, I think this is classified as historical fiction and like contemporary, The Vanishing Half. Absolutely phenomenal. We read it for our book club. It was really, really great. Um, then we have this one, which I haven't ever seen anywhere, but I found this at the thrift store. It sounded very interesting and I'm not gonna lie, the cover really intrigued me. I'll never get out of this world alive. If you want to pause and read the back, um, it's a historical, like, magical realism, I believe, which is really interesting. Then we have, um, I've only, I've read those two, I have not read this. And then I have read nothing in this stack, but I, you know, some very famous books, The Book Thief, surprisingly, have not read it. Never got to it. Kite Runner, also have never read that. I've never read a Kristen Hanna book, but I want to read this one. It's based in Alaska. My mom was born in Alaska. So that is cool. Then we have What Blooms From Dust, which I'll be honest to you, that cover just looked really interesting. Let me show you. Doesn't that look really cool? And then we have The Light of Days and The Mosaic Crimes, which my brother-in-law got for me and I unfortunately have still not read it. But historical fiction-ish, contemporary literary fiction. And then these two are also book of the month books, but they fit better down here. This one got a little water damaged, uh, but yeah, so I haven't read, I've read Take My Hand um, with our book club and then Woman of the Light I've not read yet. All right, up here we have my Harry Potter shelf that is pretty self-explanatory. Um, Dumbledore fell and his glasses broke off, so that's cool. Um, I understand that my set is not all the same, but these are all of my OGs that I've had since I was a kid. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the first two books, so I had to buy replacements for those. And that's why these look like very loved and these are like brand new. Um, I eventually want, ooh, ooh. I eventually want to get the whole set in this cool um, uh, spine thing. Okay, here we have some more like thrillers, um, like, you know, thriller mystery. The appeal is really unique. Um, we read this with our book club and it is also mixed media and it's essentially a play um, in the story of these people that are in a play and there's murder that happens and they gotta figure it out. Um, Lock the Doors is a YA thriller that I have not read yet. I read you and watched the show. I'm not caught up yet, so don't spoil anything. The book was really interesting. I've not read the sequel yet. Nearly Normal Family. This one sounds really interesting. I've not gotten to it. And then I also have not gotten to these two Lisa Jewell books that I know people really like these, so I would like to read them. The Center uh, was really cool. I watched the show and then read the book. I'll be honest, I think the show was a little bit better, but the book's also still really interesting. I really like this cover, None Shall Sleep. I'll be honest, I started this. This is a YA thriller and it did not hook me. I didn't get rid of it because I want to try again, um, but it just wasn't, I think it just wasn't what I was in the mood for. And then we have The Handmaid's Tale. Um, I love this show. I have not read the book yet, actually. Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is one of my favorite books. Uh, it was one of my top favorites of last year, and it was really fun in our book club to go over that one. Earlier, I mentioned that I have other Riley Sager that I really like. I really love Final Girls. It's a really great, spooky, like, atmospheric like Halloween style uh, serial killer book Gallant by Evie Schwab this is like another um YA horror but I absolutely love this book I think it's really cool um it also has mixed media which may you may realize is a theme that I like um, based off my book preferences and um I really love this cover which is another reason why I have, you may notice I have like some turned out. That's part of the reason if it's one of my favorites or if I really love the cover, this is both of those things. Over here we have our like contemporary slash literary fiction. Um, I love this shelf. I think it's really interesting. And I recently have become to love contemporary and just like literary fiction. So I, I really love a lot of these books. So I'm going to tell you about some of them. So we're gonna start over here, um, Once There Were Wolves. This was a really surprise for me. Um, this was one of my favorite books of, I believe it was last year, including Malibu Rising. These three right here are some of my favorite books. Um, I love Once There Were Wolves. Malibu Rising is another, like, this one is a perfect summer read. 
um, if you're looking for something this summer, it's very emotional, but it's really great. And I just finished this one literally the other day and a full review is coming, but I absolutely love this book. This was fantastic. Um, and I, I, I have too many things to say. And also we read it this month for book clubs. So I don't want them to see this and get spoiled. Um, my, uh, Polaroid camera. And then we have the rain heron, which unfortunately I did not enjoy this, but I am keeping it because it was for our book club. And I like to have the physical copies when we do our like big end of the year meeting. Um, this one looked interesting. I have not read it yet. State of wonder. So I think it's like a magical realism type book. Uh, Little Fires Everywhere. I really enjoyed this show. I also like reading like book to show adaptation uh, novels. Uh, I also enjoyed the show better than this one though. Most of them it seems like I have but I promise I like some books better than the show. Um, Pachinko. This one is another one we read for book club. This I could do a whole conversation about this. I'll probably do like a book club wrap-up video myself and maybe include some of our book club members if they're down. But um I have mixed feelings about this because I, I did really enjoy it, but it also made me really sad. And I think there's a lot of really great, important conversations that happen in this book, though. So, um, yeah, I have I think I wrote a full review on this one already. I'm not sure. But then we have the favorite daughter, which is not something I would have uh, bought on my own, but I am curious to read it. Um, but it was like one of those like mystery packaged books things. Um, so I'll get to it. It does sound interesting. Um, Very Large Expansive Sea. This is a YA contemporary novel. Um, I want to get to that one for sure. And then this is Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriary. I also really love Big Little Eyes by her. I have a friend that's a borrowing it right now though, but otherwise it'd be on the shelf. Then down here we have more adult horror. Um, this is kind of a continuation of that shelf. I have my Stephen King collection, which I have a good bit from him. And then I have my Dean Koontz books as well. Um, we have here that, um, The Dark Half by Stephen King. This I haven't gotten to yet. Um, I haven't read a ton of King, um, but I have a lot on my list. So The Institute is one that I want to read soon. Um, Pet Cemetery is one of my favorites by him. I absolutely loved it. You know, King is hit or miss for me, but I loved Pet Cemetery, and I also really loved The Shining. Read that one. Carrie and Misery. I also read these and I didn't love either one of these, but I'm so glad I read them. And then we have The Gunslinger, which is the beginning of the Dark Tower series. I don't know, honestly, if I'll get to this. I really just started collecting his books, so I'm not sure what all I'm going to actually read yet. Then we have Insomnia, which I probably will read. I have not yet, but books about sleep I think are really interesting. The Stand, which is a big boy, but I want to read it just because it's like such a classic. Cujo, I have not read yet, but I really like this cover. Christine, I tried to read this and just wasn't here for it at the time, at least. And then we have my Dean Coots books, which the only one I've read is Watchers, but this is one of my favorite books. I love this book. So I got a couple of his other titles just to try them out. I know he's a very well-renowned like sci-fi uh, horror writer. So I'm definitely going to get to those eventually. Then down here, we have probably the least read section of my bookshelves, and that is my classic section. This is something I really want to get to this year, um, is reading more classics, but I'll just give you an overview. The only ones that I have read on the shelf are The Outsiders, which I love, um, Frankenstein, which I also love, but I have to be in a very specific mood to be in the mood for, or to be ready to read classics. Um, I read A Wrinkle in Time. I did not like it. I'll just be honest. I d it just didn't hit for me. But I really want to read Jane Eyre. And I've heard Jurassic Park is really good too. And then over here we have Oliver Twist, The Invisible Man, Scarlet Letter, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice, and the Pinocchio. I have read Pinocchio. It was fun. It's just, you know, a little kid story. But, but yeah, that's my classic show encourage me to read them. Then we have this section, which is my um, adult fantasy and sci-fi section. Um, I don't have that many sci-fi on here, but uh, yeah. So here, this is one of my favorite things that I have and one of the best gifts I've gotten from my friend Josh, who got me this palettes and pages um, little embosser to emboss my books with and kind of just like personalize them. And I thought that was so nice. And I love it. And I just like having it on display because, you know, it was a very sweet gift. 
And then I have my Game of Thrones books. I'm missing one because I didn't end up loving this series. I love the show, but the books, I really enjoyed one and three, but two and four and five, I did not like. So I did not get the rest of them. And I probably won't keep all of them. I don't know. We'll see. I listened to these on audiobook and like I mixed between audiobook and physical book. But yeah, I just, you know, unfortunately it didn't do it for me. Then I have my two Brandon Sanderson books. I read this book for the first time this year and I absolutely loved it. I annotated the heck out of it. So I'm hoping to get to more Sanderson soon. And then I also have the first Way of the Kings book. And she's thick. She's thick. But we'll get to her eventually. Um, then I have a couple of sci-fi. I have Ready Player One. I have this book called Ahsoka that I got from my brother, which I really, I don't know if it was my brother or my husband. One of them gave it to me. I'm going to read it soon. I'm trying to also prioritize books that have been gifted. So we have This is How You Lose the Time War, which is also a book pub book from this year. Um, this was our January pick, and I did not like this one, unfortunately. But it's okay. I think it's a good book for discussion, though. Then we have The Children of Time, first book that my friend got me that I'm going to get to soon. It's a fantasy book. Um, or no, this is sci-fi, I believe, yes. And then we have the first Witcher book. I, I enjoyed this. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to stick with this series, but I haven't decided yet. Um, and then we have this really cute little book nook that my friend made me. It lights up, but the lights, I think the battery's dead, I think. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. She made this for me. How nice is that? I think that's so nice. And then we have the Star Wars prequel trilogy um, all together. They're just like one big book. Okay, then we are probably now to my favorite couple of sections. So this is um, just kind of like mixed fantasy, um, some YA and some uh, more like new adult. This, you know, is really hot right now and I really want to get to it quickly. The Serpent of the Wings of Night. Um, that is just like a fantasy, I believe it's a vampire book, which you know I love that. Um, this one, uh, Among the Beast and Briar, sounded interesting. I picked both of these up on Pango Books for super cheap when they were had like a sale going on. These three books, um, I absolutely love Ever the Hunted and Ever the Brave. This is a like YA fantasy type novel that I never seen yet talked about. It's a trilogy. I have not actually read the third one. Oh my gosh, this, this shelf is tight. I need to really rearrange these. And I just did, I feel like. But yeah, I haven't read Once a King yet, um, but I will get to this soon. And then I have the first From Blood and Ash book, um, which I'm excited to get to eventually. I know everybody loves this. Um, Six of Crows, I love this book. This is one of my favorite books. Um, I really wanna reread it and annotate it because I read it before I really started annotating and then I have not actually read the sequel, but I've heard it is very emotional. So I'm waiting until I'm not in a vulnerable birth state. <laughs> I'm not actually in a middle birth state, but. Um, I'm waiting on that. And then we have The Rise of Kiyoshi, which I was gifted by my brother and I read this and it was really good. If you like Avatar, you will love this. Then these two books are a, I think it's a duology. I can't remember exactly, but my friend Ashley gave me these three by this author. Um, I have read the first one and I really liked it. It is like an Aladdin type retelling. Um, very, very good. Then we have The um, Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I have not read this, which is why I don't own all of them yet. Then I have Vicious by V.E. Schwab that I still need to get to. The Color of Dragons, which was not great. We read it for our book club and unfortunately did not love this. It had a lot of potential and it just didn't, it didn't work out. I have the first Zodiac Academy book because I really want to read this series. Honestly, sometimes I just get the first book in the series as like a reminder that I want to read it. <laughs> Um, and then we have the Atlas Six by uh, Olive Blake, and I'm also excited about that one. Okay, and I'm not going to talk about Sarah J. Mass because I've already talked about her with y'all a ton. But I have all of my Sarah J. Mass stuff here. I have uh, Akatar, and then I have Crescent City here, and then I have um, Throne of Glass there. But aside from those, a uh, couple other ones that I have not read over here. These, these Violent Delights. I have a Six of Shadows, The Keeper of Night, these two are Book of the Month, and I haven't gotten to any of these yet, but plan on it soon. 
And then up here in this kind of corner. Also, by the way, these uh, bookshelves are from Ikea. They're the, um, they're not the Billy ones. I'll link them below or like list them somewhere. But yeah, I like them a lot. I have three of them. Then we have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I loved this book. Another one I annotated the heck out of and another one that we had for our book club. And then these three I have not gotten to yet. Um, Ariadne, Darling Girl, which is a Peter Pan retelling, and then The Wilder Women. Okay. And over here I have like my Disney section. I love Disney, so I love books about Disney and like Disney retellings. So these three books are from Box Lunch and they are like the storybook um, leather bound. I think this is fake leather, but I have The Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, and Beauty and the Beast. And they're really cool to have and just kind of like a collector's item. I have my chip mug with another bookmark in it. And then I have my snow globe that is Beauty and the Beast from when um, my mom got this for me when I was very little. And it's something that I treasure. Um, and then I have specific Beauty and the Beast books. Um, so I have Lost in a Book, which is like a Beauty and the Beast side story, The Beast Heart, and Belle. I've read these two and they were really good and I have not read this one yet. Down here we have just a little like fourth thing that I thought was cute. A Belle pop vinyl and then this is a thimble that was my grandmother's that I just thought was pretty right here. And then these are the Disney Twisted Tales most of these and then these are like um other little pocket books that are like disney related and then we also have bravely which is like a brave retelling that looks really cool that i haven't gotten to yet but i want to get to that soon but most of these i've read then these three shelves are actually really fun because they're like my like throwback shelves um, and like my childhood reads and then some other just like middle grade uh, YA like mixed in. So here we have the Twilight books and these are the white edition. Um, this is like a special edition that they released that were all like white covers. I don't know what happened to my original books but I was a Twilight girl so don't get it twisted. I have read these when I was young <laughs> um, but I love them and I will always love them. And we have Midnight Sun, which you know is the newest one that came out. That is the first book from Edward's perspective. And I also really enjoyed that when it came out. Um, we have the Marked books, which I was super into these when I was younger. And I just kept them because I think it's fun to look back on and remember what I really liked back then. And I still love them. Um, this is a kid's book that I read recently um, that a friend got for me, and I enjoyed it. It definitely is younger. Um, we have, sorry, I'm moving. Um, we have here, we have 13 Reasons Why, which um, don't read if you're in a bad mental state, but because it is about suicide. But it is one that I really enjoyed and got me thinking about mental health at a young age. Um, we have an incomplete um, section of the um, Vampire Academy books. I really also love these and would honestly would still read them. Um, so that's that. And then we have this book, The Girl Who Drank the Moon, which is a middle grade book that I have not read yet. Um, but it made sense to go here. These are my Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children books. I really enjoy these books. I think they're fun. They're about a group of magical kids. And I'm not completely caught up. Um, I have two more. I think there's one more after this one that I don't own. These are some of my favorite childhood books. I love these. They're one of, some of the ones that got me into reading. Ink Heart series. It's a trilogy by Cornelia Funk. I love these. They are super fun and adventurous. And yeah. Then we have down here, we have the um, duology by David Leviathan. That is really interesting. Um, I believe it's YA, but I really enjoyed those two books, Every Day and Another Day. And then we have Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk and Aragon, the first book. Just a classic, you know. We have this one, which is a, like, um, companion novel to the Peculiar Children series that I thought was beautiful. So I really just wanted it on display. But it's more just like a reference book. Another Jack Pop, of course. And then we have some other series and books that I enjoyed as a kid. The Divergent series, The Hunger Games, um, this book by Margaret Peterson Haddix, I believe, yeah, that I loved when I was a kid and that I read in the library. 
And then we have the Phantom Stallion books, which I was a horse girl. How could I not have this? It is required. And then up here, I just have my couple of records that I have. Um, and then my record player, an Overwatch uh, graphic book thing. This is a Bella portrait um, that I got from this page that um, does art on, on top of the book pages, which is really cool. I thought that was really neat. Then we have my small but mighty manga section. I have my Attack on Titan pop vinyls, or pop, yeah, pop vinyls. Um, and then we have my Attack on Titan manga. I've read most of these. Um, and then we have some Tokyo Ghoul, Demon Slayer, and then um, a couple other manga editions that I haven't started yet, but this is just like I did with the other books. Like I have the first one to remind myself that I want to read it. And then we have some like textbooks that I have when I studied law. Um, and then a dream kind of like book. And then this is a, a therapy book. A little BMO pop vinyl. And then some like family history books that I have. And this, this is Hunter's section where he has some of his graphic novels. And that's my wedding bouquet. That is fake flowers. Highly recommend fake flowers for your wedding, by the way. <laughs> and then this section, I just have some books that I am getting rid of and selling on Pango Books, which I'll link below if you're interested. Um, over here, I have some of my crystal collection. And then um, some wine. This is a puzzle that I really took a long time on me and Hunter during quarantine one time. And then I have some of my tarot decks and then my grandmother's thimble collection, which is also something that I'm really proud of. Uh, Keurig because of course. And then in these drawers, I just have some of my like reading supplies. So these library cards that I use, I've talked about this before, like how I annotate, but this is just like some of my annotation supplies. I'm not showing you that drawer because it's messy. And then there's just some games down there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.